Okay, so now that the weather is getting a little bit nicer, if you are a solo content creator, you might be looking to shoot some of your videos outside. And so today we're gonna to talk about five tips for recording better audio outdoors for your YouTube videos. If there's only one thing you take away from this video, it's tip number one, prioritize wind protection. There is nothing worse than going and shooting video outside and having that audio not be usable because of wind noise. And even though a lot of microphones come with those foam windscreens, they're not necessarily designed to mitigate a lot of wind noise outside. And so if there's one thing that you want to buy for your microphones, that is a furry wind muff. Whether that be something for your lavalier microphones, a lot of wireless mic options come with those, or in my case today, we are recording on my Deity S Mic 2S plugged into my Zoom F3 recorder and I have a large dead cat on that. Wind noise will be your number one enemy when it comes to recording good audio outside. Audio tip number two is to utilize all of the features of your microphone or audio recorder to their full potential. So what do I mean by that? Well. A lot of microphones and or audio recorders have built-in features that can really help you while you are shooting outdoors. Whether that be something like a low cut filter to help eliminate some rumble or a limiter to make sure that if you accidentally have a loud noise in your video in the background that it doesn't clip your audio. Or even something like recording safety tracks where one channel is at a certain level and then the second safety channel is at like minus 6 to minus 12 dB. Enabling those features can really help you because remember, when we're shooting outdoors, we only have oftentimes one chance to get the audio that we are recording. We don't have the luxury of going back to a location and re-recording certain segments. So putting measures in place that will help ensure that you capture the audio correctly the first time will save you a ton of headache down the road. Tip number three, be aware of your environment. Now this really breaks down to a couple different factors. One, we uh, should be aware about where we are recording, right? You wanna be mindful of not recording things like music playing at a restaurant, accidentally recording conversations of people passing by, or even things like if there's an airplane going overhead to just hold off for like two seconds so you don't hear that in your final video. Yeah, see, there's an airplane up there overhead. But being aware of your environment also means that you shouldn't be afraid of recording some of the ambient sounds or capturing some of that noise where you're shooting because that helps provide context for the viewer. So for example, I am shooting right here in front of kind of like this marshy area. And while there are bird sounds around me, if there were something like frog sounds, that would provide a whole different context for your viewing audience. So don't be afraid to capture some of those ambient sounds while you're recording your own dialogue. So while you generally have to be aware of your environment, tip number four is to be aware of your own volume. What do I mean by that? Well, right now I am next to a farm and back there somewhere, it's like some kind of farm vehicle that's creating uh, some kind of noise, right? I think it's like a tractor that's just idling or something. As a content creator or a vlogger who is speaking into a microphone, Sometimes when we are in environments where there is excessive noise, we feel the need to raise the volume of our voice in an effort to be heard better. We do this all the time, right, with our family and friends. Like if we were at a concert and we want to tell our friends something, we yell really loudly. The problem with that is if you had set your audio levels beforehand at a normal speaking volume, but you didn't make those adjustments as you continue to shoot throughout the day. And then you find yourself in a situation like this one where it's a little bit louder and your voice might be slightly more elevated because you want to talk over things like trucks and traffic. That's a really good way to clip your audio without even knowing it until you get back into your studio and uh, are in the editing process. And if you didn't follow tip number two and enable a limiter or record a safety track, yeah, then that's audio that is completely unusable. I'm lucky because I am recording this in 32-bit float, so I shouldn't have that problem of clipping my audio if I needed to talk louder. 
But that doesn't mean that I can't possibly distort my audio in another way. And that leads us to tip number five. Be mindful of your handling noise. So if you are someone that sets up your camera and microphone on a tripod, lets it sit there and then just addresses it, you don't have to worry about this too much, right? But if you are someone like a vlogger or you like to do the pick up and talk to the camera thing, that can be a source of unwanted noise in your recording. Moving your camera and microphone back from hand to hand, adjusting your camera, adjusting your mic, things of that nature, right? And there's so much street traffic right here. My recording setup of my Zoom F3 is on a Rycote shock mount. So hopefully that mitigates some of the handling noise with me hand holding my camera rig. But if you do things like walk around, change hands, open up your tripod, set your camera down, things like that can definitely ruin some audio. Oh, I really can't believe how busy this street is. Like, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere, but cars keep driving by constantly. So those are my five tips for recording better audio outside this summer. Hopefully it helps you in your content creation and we'll talk again real soon.